fixed displacement pump. So in the next, we're going to talk about another pump, which is similar but different, right? Everything, hey, it's exactly the same but different, right? There's a joke for you. Exactly the same but different. Uh, this is the vein pump. So here's the vein pump. Now, <clears throat> the vein pump uh, has what we call sliding veins. So looking at the vein pump, we're going to break this thing down. But, but fluid comes in here. It's scooped up by the paddle wheel. It's squeezed around here, but if you notice, the further around, it starts to squeeze it, squeeze it down, and then it can't, these are really almost touching. The fluid can't get through the bottom, right? So here it's sucked in. This area gets bigger, 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 smaller, 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 and it's squeezed out this side. That is the, um, the vein pump. So they're positive displacement pumps, and they usually are, when you got to move a lot of fluid is when you use them. So we've got the inlet port here. We've got what we call the rotor, which rotates. We've got veins, and these veins can slide. They can slide inside these slots. And then it's got this sleeve, and the sleeve is what forces things around here. We're going to look at it a little closer here. Uh, we have this, this shaft is eccentric, all right? And uh, people, some people have said, I'm eccentric. Um, well, actually, I'm not eccentric, and I'll tell you why. If you got a lot of money, you're, you're rich and eccentric. If you don't have a lot of money, you, you're just poor and crazy. So, so this is eccentric, which means that the shaft is offset. Concentric is we have a circle inside a circle. Eccentric is where the two are offset, the centers are offset. So that's how this works. Uh, that's why the vein, the, the sliding veins can do what they do. So here's my inlet, and it pulls fluid in. This area gets bigger, and as it rotates, it starts getting smaller, and it's forced out my outlet, my outlet pump. Um, just another picture. And the next one I want to talk about is the last pump we're going to talk about today, which is the G rotor. And here's the G rotor. This is another eccentric installation. You'll notice, and it's a two different size stars. We call this a star pump sometimes. And um, this thing rotates and we have an area where this gets bigger and it sucks fluid in and then it gets smaller and it squeezes fluid out. This is uh, what a, a G rotor pump looks like in an engine. They're another fixed displacement pump. Very simple. Uh, works just like the others. Here you can see um, we have it, uh, the inner driving rotor and the outer driving rotor uh, is what they talk about here. This is the driven gear here. You can see it says right here, hey, I'm just reading it. And um, this is the, this drives and this guy here rotates. All right, so we have a, a and then if you take these out, this is the backside. So you see this is where we suck, where fluid sucks in it sucks in as it gets bigger, as the openings get bigger, and it's squeezed out where the openings get smaller. So we, we pull it in, it gets bigger, 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 and then we start squeezing it out, and we transfer it from here to here. That is a, that's a G-rotor. Um, they're offset, offset axis. Here's another picture of a pump. Simple, simple, simple. Here it is running, and you can see this guy here in the center, he's driving. And the guy on the outside is uh, rotating along with it. A couple more pictures. A uh, little bit different style of, let me grab this and drag this. Let me drag this up here. Okay, hey, that's better. Okay, so a um, little bit different shape of the star, but it does the same thing. We talked about the hand pump. And the hand pump works because you got offset check valves. And one check valve opens and the other check valve closes. So, so on the inlet stroke, uh, we pull back, pulls it off, we fill up the chamber. And then on the, the output stroke, stroke A, uh, in, in A here, this one is going to seat, this one's going to open, and we're going to squeeze it out the outlet. That is the hand pump. Simple, simple, simple. The next thing we talked about was we talked about the gear pump and fluid is forced around the outside and the meshing of the gears, uh, says, Hey, fluid, you can't go any further. And that was the gear pump. We talked about the vein pump. And the vein pump has sliding veins in it, 
We'll also see air pumps for instrument air systems uh, later. Pneumatic pumps uh, are oftentimes it's when we got to move a lot of fluid. We talked about the G rotor, and the G rotor is kind of an offset star, and that's uh, another type of fixed displacement pump.